Here is a hyperchromatic crowded group that we can easily recognize on low power. And um, when we look carefully, we can see that the nuclei are very jumbled up and they are very disorganized. Taking a closer look, uh, the nuclei are overlapping each other. There is actually a fair variation in nuclear size and shape. Some nuclei are much larger than others. They appear to be very hyperchromatic. There is no definite gland formation seen. Even in this uh, cell group, we can see that the nuclei are enlarged and hyperchromatic with irregular nuclear membranes. So these are features that suggest squamous differentiation. Here is another hyperchromatic crowded group, and we can see the nuclei are quite elongated. If you look at the edges of the group um, here, and especially here, there is a hint that the nuclei are sort of flattening out so that they are parallel to the edges of the group rather than perpendicular. Uh, this parallel arrangement is another feature that suggests squamous differentiation. Again, the organization is very jumbled up, it's very disorganized. We do not see nice uh, strips of cells like we would see in glandular cells or rosette formation. So these features are not present. The nuclei are hyperchromatic, uh, they are quite irregular. There are also some clues, other clues uh, of squamous differentiation, especially if we look around and we see cells like these uh, in the background. This cell has got a large irregular nucleus with quite coarse chromatin and um, it appears to be squamous in differentiation. Other abnormal cells we can see would include those as well as a cell that you can see here. This cell for example is a abnormal squamous cell of a lower grade so this, if you had this alone, this would be low still, of course, but in conjunction with very large hyperchromatic groups with high NC ratios like this, uh, these are features of high SIL. And this is the corresponding histology of the cervical biopsy, and we can see indeed that this is a high-grade squamous intraepithelial lesion. Um, there is a mitotic figure here that is nearly halfway up the thickness of the squamous epithelium and another mitosis here. And even in the cells close to the surface, we can see that the nuclei are abnormal, they are enlarged, there are raised NC ratios, the nuclei are hyperchromatic and uh, the nuclear outlines are irregular, just like what we saw on the pap smear. So the diagnosis here is high SIL or high-grade squamous intraepithelial lesion.